Hey, it's Sean from Tested. Happy holidays. I'm here to present some of my favorite items over the last year. Uh, so let's, uh, let's take a look. First on the list is this nifty alien model from uh, NECA. NECA Cinemachines uh, series uh, are mainly uh, die cast models with some plastic in there. Um, and I, to be honest, they've been a little bit of a mixed bag, but this one is really sweet. It's the Narcissus or Narcissus, depending on how you want to pronounce it, from uh, the Nostromo. It's the escape shuttle from the Nostromo. Um, and this one is absolutely fantastic. It's a really nice size. Uh, it's got a swivel base so you can kind of pose it however you want. Um, and the detailing on it is pretty great. Uh, the body is mainly die cast. It's pretty lightweight still. Um, but I think the detail on it is really well. And this particular one has a pretty good paint job, which I feel like some of the other ones have been a little hit or miss. But this one was definitely worth picking up uh, to add to my collection. So that is the uh, NECA Cinemachines shuttle. Next, we have a few more movie items. We have these two great editions from Insight Editions. Um, one for Labyrinth and one for The Dark Crystal, both uh, great Jim Henson movies. And there hasn't been a lot of uh, behind the scenes stuff released previously that I could ever find. And these are fantastic. They're nice and thick. They have a ton of stuff in them. There's a lot of little doodads and like uh, physical items and repros from like scripts, storyboards, inner office memos. Uh, there's lots of good stuff in here if you are a fan of either of the movies. As a bonus, the Labyrinth one even comes with uh, the poster, a theatrical poster, which is a nice touch. So inside editions, those are still available. Uh, I, I recommend picking them up if you're fans. Next, we're going to move to tools, my other love. Um, I picked up this monstrosity this year and it has really helped out on uh, a lot of projects. This is the Rockwell Jaw Horse Sheet Master. Um, they actually have two different versions out. The Sheet Master uh, will become clear in just a minute, but this is a clamping sawhorse, which you can just manually open and close the jaws as needed. Um, you just simply put an item in, you push it shut with your hands, and then it has a foot activated pedal that will do up to one ton of clamping force. This holds ridiculously well. Um, and the way that it is designed, it'll even let you put stuff vertically if needed, um, so it's really versatile. Um, I've clamped full doors in this to like sand the edges or you know plane the edges or something like that. Um, it will also open up and this part will flip around to four feet. So you can actually clamp a whole piece of plywood in it, which is amazing. Um, it has an additional little bracket, which is a simple L-shaped bracket that you can then put two two by fours in to make an additional out support if it's overhanging too much. But it's neat because you can, you know, clamp a small piece of plywood in there, make a makeshift work table. Um, it's just the right height with just a little board in here. It's good for an outfeed table for my portable band or uh, portable uh, table saw. Um, and I highly recommend it uh, if you need something like this. It is big and heavy, but it actually has wheels for transporting it on the job site. And the back leg folds out into a handle, which is pretty cool. And then the whole thing will break down into one little pillar that is easy to stick in a corner. Now, uh, the Sheep Master will go to four feet. They have a cheaper one, which is just called the Jaw Horse. And it uh, only goes to like this width, which I, I think like two or three feet or something like that. Um, but if that's all you need, then it is a really, really good choice as well. So the Rockwell Jaw Horse Sheet Master. And that brings me to my all time favorite thing of the year, my Time Bandits map. Um, for those of you who don't know, Time Bandits is a classic Terry Gilliam movie uh, about the shrubs department of God's great creation who steal the time hole map, which shows mistakes or holes in time. And they basically use this map to go through different periods of history and pillage and loot and rob. Uh, fantastic movie. You should check it out if you like fantasy. Um, this was a gift from my wife, Kate almost eight years ago. It was my wedding present from her. It's one of my absolute favorite things ever. It is an amazing replica done by Metropolis Graphics on, uh, he has an Etsy store. Um, and it is actually printed on real thick canvas, beautiful colors, uh, worth every penny of the print. 
Uh, another interesting thing that is somewhat tested related because Adam actually did a little consultation on this. Uh, he gave some feedback on details and like little items on the map and he gave some suggestions as far as how to grade the color and mix that up a little bit to give it a little more pop. Um, now, you'll notice this looks, you know, kind of worn out right now. Well, what took me so long to get this put up is I weathered it. And when it gets, when you get this, it is a beautiful print, pristine colors, nice and smooth, but I wanted to do the movie version. So I found a really nice weathering guide on the RPF uh, after a lot of folding, sanding the edges, sanding the surface, some coffee staining, uh, weathering powders, burning the edges, uh, even some charcoal ash from the grill smeared all over it. I got it to the point where it, it looks like it should from the movie. Um, part of the other problem was finding a frame this big. Uh, if you go to an antique store or a flea market or whatever, and you find a nice fancy frame, they cost a fortune. This was a lucky flea market find for like 40 bucks and it had a giant mirror in it. Took the mirror out, we refinished the frame, stained it a little darker, and then the final uh, crowning thing was the picture light, which these are also really expensive. So it was weeks of looking on eBay until I found one that was a little beat up, uh, but for a really good price. So I found some really nice warm LEDs to put in it as uh, uh, to give it that old timey look. And then to top it all off, we, we mounted on this nice purple velvet to kind of give it that like, you know, uh, antiquity look. Uh, so yes, my Time Bandits map, great gift for my wife. Uh, it hangs with pride in our living room. So they are still available, Metropolis Graphics on Etsy. Um, but that wraps up my favorite things for the year. It's been a good one. I hope you guys have a happy new year and we'll see you next time.